What's going on everyone? It's Brainwitch Code You Find Jewelry. It's your personal jeweler. I'm up and at it on my morning walk because cardio. Today we're doing a vlog. I'm receiving some new merchandise via FedEx from Italy, some Franco chains, which I've been out of stock of, uncharacteristic of me, but I'm excited to unbox them. As of right now, at this current moment, you and I both don't know what I'm receiving because they split the packages up, so I'm getting one today and getting one tomorrow. So we're gonna unbox those Francos, put them back on the website, and so I'll see you on the next clip when I get the Franco smash. All right, guys, it is the next clip, which means we got chains. And if you ask me, this is exactly the shipment I wanted. We have two and a half millimeter Francos and new scale alert just for this shipment. Let's weigh it out, 600 and something grams. The two and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco chains. These have been sold out for a while. We also have the three and a half millimeter Franco chains. And then my favorite, everybody's favorite, it seems the three millimeter diamond cut Franco chains. I'll put a B roll across the screen comparing the two and a half three millimeters and three and a half as well as on the Jacoji next so you guys can get the kind of the comparison because at these size there's a lot of weight difference between them so when you're buying you're shopping you want to feel like you're getting the right chain and we have the three and a half millimeter baby curbs in 2020 you're going to start calling me baby curb Braden because I love these chains as we know and I got some three and a half millimeter baby curve bracelets. I'll put a B-roll of me wearing the three and a half millimeter baby curve bracelet. I'm really excited about it. It's a subtle bracelet overall as far as the size goes, but nonetheless, the baby curve, in my opinion, is one of the nicest link chains you can buy. They're thick, they're heavy, they're made right, and they shine very well, just like the Franco chains, all from the same factory, of course. So when I'm buying it, I'm very confident, and when I'm selling it, I'm even more confident, and for me, that is the key to help better serve you guys. So I'm really excited with all these chains that came in. Again, I just got alert that my shipment for tomorrow got cleared. So when you're watching this on Saturday, a lot of chains will be back in stock, um, which is a good thing. So I'm excited about it because to have the three millimeter diamond cut Franco out of stock, the two and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco out of stock, two millimeter, that's unacceptable to the Franco King. So I'm working hard all day. What I gotta do basically is take inventory, update my website as well as weigh them because each batch is different because of the diamond cut. Hopefully one day I could show actually how the diamond cut is made or how it's done and why it has a variant, but that is basically the reason why. So I have to measure the three millimeter 22 inch, compare it to my last batch, and then update the ground weight accordingly. It's never perfect. Sometimes I have old stock that might be a little heavier and then you buy it and I have to kind of figure it out. But I honestly try my best to make sure it's fair. If there's any weight less uh, difference, I re refund it back. If it's a little bit more, that is your thank you from Jacoji. So I got all day to work on all this stuff. Guys, check this out real quick. The three and a half millimeter baby curb, 24 inch around the Jacoji neck. And this is that subtle everyday chain look. The side neck, of course, right there. Shop Jacoji. That is the look that we're all going for. All right, guys, just dropped off all the orders at FedEx. And after a stressful day, you know your boy Brayden needs some Chipotle. A large Diet Coke needs vodka, honestly. Um, I got backed up today. I did not show the shipments. I'm sorry. It was a perfect opportunity to do so, but I was just too stressed out. Normally, when I get order like chains and stuff in, um, I do that on the weekend, but I'm not going to be available to do that this weekend because I'm hitting the road to make another YouTube video that I've been wanting to make for a while. It's kind of a test run because you guys will see, so I have to kind of try it out, see if it's going to work before I do the main video, which I'm really excited about. I'm meshing like my hobby with with um, Jacoji Gold, so it's gonna be cool. I'm also gonna have a Q&A in that video. I'm gonna vlog it, so if you have a question for your boy, Baby Curb Braden, drop it down below to get featured. I'm gonna take like four or five questions and do a Q&A while I wait for the object to arrive, and that is a waiting game sometime, but I'm not done working today. If everything lines up, I will show the B-rolls of a few custom pieces that I finished up on, Right now, it's looking cloudy. It rained today in Southern California, just by luck. But if I get some good lighting, I'm gonna show these custom pieces I finished up. I don't do a lot of custom pieces these days. The time is just not there, but when I do them, they turn out fire like you see. And I'm gonna post them on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, 
follow me it's easy at Jacoji Fine Jewelry hit follow see some fire posts and thank you as always for supporting I hope you guys like this little vlog that's it for today's video I'm gonna go home and eat my veggie burrito and we will see you on our next jewelry video